We have a very special message right now from Rico Pellet, and it's going to be read to you by William Lee, who was a key part of putting the evening together tonight. Thank you very much, everyone. Miko Pellet has sent us a statement uh, and asked us to read it for him. Um, uh, Miko Pellet is the author of The General Sun, Journey of an Israeli in Palestine, with a foreword by Alice Waters, published by Just World Books. He was born in Jerusalem in 1961 into a well-known Zionist family. His father, Matty Pellet, fought in the 1948 war and was a general in the 1967 war. And then he became a, a, a noted peace activist and a leading proponent of Israeli dialogue with the Palestinians and with the PLO. Miko Pellet grew up in this highly political uh, milieu, and he himself served in the IDF service that he later came to regret. The list of vicious, murderous men and women who, as leaders of nations, committed unspeakable crimes is too long to recount. But none of them could have done it without the cooperation of the victims and the society in general. Cooperation with Israel validates Israel's right to terrorize and humiliate Palestinians with our consent. We, being all people of conscience, whether we are Palestinians or not, the call of the hour is non-cooperation and resistance against the injustice. Though people lay the blame for the violence in Gaza on Hamas, Israel did not start its assaults on the Gaza Strip when Hamas was established in the late 1980s. Israel began attacking Gaza when the Gaza Strip was established and populated with refugees in the early 1950s. Israel's objective has always been death and destruction, while the Palestinian resistance is fighting for freedom, for their rights, and for a better future. Palestinians, particularly in Gaza, are not faced with an option to resist and be killed or live in peace. They are presented with the options of being killed standing up and fighting, or being killed sleeping in their beds. Gaza is being punished because Gaza is a constant reminder to Israel and to the world of the original sin of ethnic cleansing of Palestine and the creation of a so-called Jewish state. Even though the Palestinian resistance has never presented a military threat to Israel. It has always been portrayed as an existential threat to Israel. Moshe Dayan, the famed Israeli general with the eye patch, articulated this idea in a speech he gave in April 1956. He spoke at Kibbutz Nahaloz, an Israeli settlement near the Gaza border. Quote, Beyond this border there is an ocean of hatred and a deep desire for vengeance, Diane said then, and others continue to recite this mantra to this day. But Palestinians have never possessed so much as a tank, a warship, or a fighter jet, not to say a regular army. So why the fear? Why the constant six-decade-long campaign against Gaza? Because Palestinians in Gaza, more so than anywhere else, pose a threat to Israel's legitimacy. Israel is the illegitimate child born of an unholy union between racism and colonialism. And the refugees... <laughs> and the refugees who make up the majority of the population in the Gaza Strip are a constant reminder of this. They are a reminder of the crime of ethnic cleansing upon which Israel was established. The poverty, lack of resources, and lack of freedom stand in stark contrast to the abundance, freedom, and power that exist in Israel and that rightfully belong to Palestinians. <clears throat> 
As I write these words, says Miko, the number of innocents murdered by Israel in Gaza has risen beyond 2,000. Ending the insufferable, brutal, and racist regime that was created by the Zionists in Palestine is the call of our time. Criticizing Palestine, Palestinian resistance is unconscionable. Israel must be subjected to boycott, divestment, and sanctions. Israeli diplomats must be sent home in shame. Israeli leaders and Israeli commanders traveling abroad must fear prosecution. These measures are to be combined with disobedience, non-cooperation, and uncompromising resistance. This and only this will show mothers, fathers, and children in Gaza that the world cares and that never again is more than an empty promise. published by Three Rooms Press and recently won the Arab American Book Award. Please welcome Hala. Thank you. And I just want to thank all the organizers that put this event together. Um, it's an incredibly powerful thing to do and it truly is an honor to be part of it. This is weight. This is I did not know they made smoke like ocean. This is aluminum dusk and sulfur clouds. This is sabah al-khair. Morning of luck, morning of cinder. This is steam and ruin and flashlit bodies. This is counting your loss. This is losing count. This is man greets dawn with head tilted back. This is man greets dawn with shrapnel. This is I cannot count fast enough samhaini. This is daughter. This is I am half yours, half life thrust midwife from some candle. This is some parallel life where my father's father took a left, grabbed a fistful of soil, and instead of leaving, stayed. This is diaspora. This is always through the television screen. This is always the wrong question. This is five other coastlines. This is gutless. This is don't change the channel, the least you can do is watch. This is diaspora. This is carry your name in Bangkok, carry your name in Brooklyn. This is wrecking ball of compass, this is weight. This is I did not know they made sky so famished. This is metal, reincarnation of metal, of children limp gray dust beneath buckled buildings. This is sky of knives, this is body is not body but silhouette rib cage and shallow graves this is history of shallow graves this is dedicate the poem this is dedicate the song this is don't dedicate poem or song dedicate the breath this is i did not know this earth had jaw enough to hold all the things your children have dropped this is village this is village eats ash for a week this is allah this is boys terrace bones for luck. This is girls press flowers for luck. This is what luck is it to survive one bullet for another. This is black water and phosphorus fish. This is lost electricity. This is hands muddy from sifting through rubble. This is hands muddy for anything breathing. This is seven types of illness. This is rage is bread if it keeps you alive. This is Allah Akbar. Pray with both hands. This is hands and cathedral bones, dirt and eyelash. This is teeth and teeth and teeth for months. This is daughter. 
It says, carry your name in throat. Carry your name in Beirut. This is not gun. This is not missile. This is make the world say your name aloud over Gaza and over Gaza and over Gaza until they hear your music because this is survived. This is you are loved. Light spans for you over land and sea and you are in the mouth of Tripoli shoreline and Boston nightclub and Paris street corner. This is voice too soft, Samhaina. This is Samhaina. This is daughter, lamp light reciting of Fatha. This is wait and atlas and keep waiting as some thread stretches gossamer thin across ocean. This is compass finding east, voice learning to rise. This is half yours. This is daughter, and we will carry your name everywhere. Thank you.